Hey designers, welcome back to my channel with my inspiring designs with me, Justine, where all I want to do is inspire the event designer in you. Single Day Mile is almost here, and although I don't really celebrate it, it is a popular theme that we do in the United States. So I'm going to make a Single Day Mile balloon arch. This balloon arch came out so cute, so I'm so excited for you guys to watch. If you'd like to know how to create a Single Day Mile balloon arch, please keep watching. The first step you want to do is get your balloon stands. Now I have used these IKEA lamps in previous videos that I will link in the description. If you don't have an Ikea near you, I will link something similar that you can use. Next, you want to gather your hula hoop and take it apart. Now, I've already had mine taken apart because I have tried doing this video two other times. So, third time's a charm. So, I've already unfastened it. And then all you're going to do is put it on top of the poles. For this video, I didn't want my arch to be so high because my ceilings aren't that high. So I had to just take off one pole on each lamp stand in order to adjust it. I'm 5'3", so you can tell, kind of tell how many inches that is from my head. But then you want to take your duct tape and kind of wrap it around to kind of secure it in place. Next, we are going to blow up our balloons. Now, I got my balloons from Dollar General, um, and they actually worked pretty well. So I was very impressed on how this arch came out with cheap balloons. Each balloon set came with 72 balloons, and I think they were around $5.50 for each. to slow this part down so that way you guys can see the difference between the balloons see how they have a cone shape in order to get a round shape you have to push the balloon as you slowly release the air and this creates a round shape so the left side is round and the right side is a cone and there you go so then you're going to tie both balloons together which makes your balloon groans a lot easier versus tying them by themselves because then you still have to connect them after you create the duplet, then you're going to blow up two more balloons using the same method. So remember, in order to know how when to stop, you will want to avoid that cone shape. You're pressing the air out, tying them together, and then it creates a quad with all four of them. If you're new here on my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notified on all the videos that we do here on my channel. 
This is a great way to support my channel and to make sure that the video gets to all event designers out there so they're able to recreate this balloon arch. Next is I wanted to actually measure the height of the arch without balloons first so that way you guys can know how tall this one actually is and it actually ended up being 74 inches without the balloons so that just means that it will actually be taller with the balloons. I have all the dimensions listed down in the description below. I ended up googling what the colors of the rainbows are because I have a hard time remembering so that's currently what I'm doing on my phone I'm just looking for a palette with the rainbow colors and then that way my arch can kind of reflect the same pattern You want to take your quad and put it directly in between the lamp. Wherever you place the lamp, you want to move one of the balloons and cross it over. So it kind of keeps it intact and then kind of push it down in the middle. As you're doing the next quad, you want to make sure it's lined up in between the previous one. So where I'm pointing right now, and then you'll do the same step from the for the red ones. You're going to move one balloon over and then make sure it's aligned and pushing down in the middle. If you ever watched my video, Becoming an Event Planner, you will know that this is like karma. The same thing is happening again. I completely forgot that there was a set of pink balloons. They look red on camera, but they were pink. So I had to take all the balloons off again and redo them. If you're starting off on your event designing business and you have no idea what to do, I'm currently looking for three people to jump on a one-on-one -on -one call free of charge and to give you some advice that I did when I first started. So if you're interested, I'll leave the link down below. Make sure you sign up and I will be contacting you soon if you're someone that I can help with.
Next, you want to take your Swiffer duster and dust off any hair dust or anything that shouldn't be on the balloons because remember, the balloons will attract everything. So make sure you're using that duster. It really does help. Now, it can't be Cinco de Mayo without a banner. So I had gotten this banner made in Walgreens and the person who designed it, her Instagram will be linked down below, but her name is Itty Bits Design on Instagram. And she actually did a really good job on these signs. She has a bunch of different banners. So what I'm going to do is if I'm going to punch a hole on the corners and actually tie the balloon string to it so I can hang it on the balloon arch. This was a little bit more complicated than what I thought, but I think it would have been easier if I had two people helping me versus just myself. So all I did was tie the string and I pulled it and I just wrap it around the balloon. No one will be back here unless you're doing pictures but for the most part you will be able to see it. So it actually worked out well. And these gaps, don't worry about it, it's behind. It's You really want to care what you see from the front. So yeah, you'll see some space and that's just because the balloons weren't equally distributed so just be mindful of that. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye! If you would like to find on all the videos that we do here on my channel, if you don't hit that bell, oh.